Hello, this is Gent Paparista from AWR Corporation. First, I would like to thank you for viewing this brief demonstration of our LTE library in AWR's Visual System Simulator or VSS. LTE, which stands for Long Term Evolution, is a fourth generation radio technology designed to increase the capacity and speed of mobile telephone networks. Most major mobile carriers in the United States, as well as many in other parts of the world, have announced plans to convert their networks to LTE beginning in 2009. LTE is a set of enhancements to the Universal Mobile Telecommunications System, or commonly known as UMTS, and was introduced in the 3GPP Release 8 specifications. The LTE specification provides downlink peak rates of at least 100 megabit per second, an uplink of at least 50 megabit per second, and radio access network round trip times of less than 10 milliseconds. LTE is built, is built upon a flat IP based network architecture. It supports scalable carrier bandwidths from 20 MHz down to 1.4 MHz and both frequency division duplexing and time division duplexing. LTE also supports seamless communication with older network technologies such as GSM, CDMA1, WCDMA and CDMA2000. The main advantage of LTE are high throughput, low latency, plug and play operation, improved end user experience and simple architecture resulting in low operating expenditures. The LTE library is implemented according to the LTE specifications. The LTE signal sources can operate by using single or multiple antenna transmission modes, QPSK, 16 QEM and 64 QEM modulations, variable signal bandwidth defined in resource elements, standard scrambling, modulation mapping, pre-coding, mapping to resource elements, frame assembly, data channels, control channels and reference signal. The VSS LTE library also provides receiver functionality for demodulating the input signal and extracting various data and control channels and performing standard measurements defined in the LTE specifications. Such measurements include error vector magnitude or EVM which can be measured on the whole signal or on certain resource elements, ACLR using the standard signal bandwidths and filter settings, and spectrum compliance. VSS allows users to customize any of these measurements as well as add a variety of custom measurements such as CCDF, AM to AM conversion, etc. The LTE library is implemented using hierarchical designs which provide users with visibility into implementation details and the ability to even modify these modules according to their needs. This slide shows the implementation of the LTE downlink signal source. Users can look into its implementation, even modify it or add access to various test signals within this block. As part of the LTE library, we have also developed design test benches that are customized to LTE signals and measurements and may be used for evaluating devices under test or DUTs particular to the LTE transmitters or receivers. These test benches allow for various configurations of the LTE signals and include measurements configured according to the LTE specifications. The VSS platform allows users to easily add many other measurements available in VSS. Here is a test bench used for evaluating a power amplifier placed at the output of the LTE transmitter. This model includes the file-based power amplifier and other hardware impairments such as amplitude and phase imbalance, DC offset and phase noise. The test bench monitors the following measurements. EVM as a function of the output power. ACLR at four standard frequency offsets using standard filters, the CCDF at the input and output of the DUT, the signal spectrum at the input and output of the DUT, AM to AM conversion caused by the power amplifier, the distortion of the signal constellation caused by the power amplifier. The amplifier model can be replaced with the microwave office circuit or a VSS behavioral amplifier model that accounts for frequency dependency. 
Also, more measurements can be easily added to this test bench. This was a brief presentation of our LTE library. Thank you for viewing.